angel is saying to you, Dear Lord, thank you so much for another day of life on earth. Thank you for another beautiful sunrise to enjoy. Thank you for the wonderful sounds of nature, from the cool breeze brushing through the trees to the birds singing melodies. You are a wonderful God, full of grace and mercy. I praise you for allowing me another day to spend with my family. I love you, God. Amen. Almighty God, I ask for your protective hand over my life and those I love as we start this day. Shield us from harm and guard our hearts against negativity and despair. Provide us with the strength to overcome obstacles, the patience to endure challenges, and the wisdom to learn from every situation. Help me to remember that with you, all things are possible, and that your love is my ever-present aid. Amen, Heavenly Father, I come before you in gratitude for this new day. I surrender my heart, mind, and spirit to your loving care. Grant me wisdom, discernment, and strength for the challenges ahead. Fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Bless my loved ones, protect them, and draw them closer to you. Use me as a vessel of your love and light, that I may bring joy and hope to those around me. Order my steps according to your will and shower me with your abundant blessings. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. I am glad you are right by me. Help me make the right decisions. Pour your wisdom over me. Lead me through all things. I pray I will be a blessing in everything I do and go. Fill me with your joy and peace. I give my family and friends into your hands. Bless them. Thank you, Lord, for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Forgive me of all of my sin. Be the Lord of my life. Create in me a clean heart and the right spirit within me. Renew my mind. Heal me from the hurt of my past. I love you and need you. Cover me with your precious and holy blood, as well as my family my friends, and my life projects. Give me your dream. Lord, bless and protect everyone that seeks you, needs you, and believes in you. In Jesus' name, amen. I kneel down before you at this moment. Please enlighten what is dark in me. Strengthen what is weak in me. Mend what is broken in me. Heal what is sick in me and revive whatever peace and love that has died in me. This is my prayer for me, my family, friends, my enemies, and even those who hate me. Amen, dear God, things haven't been easy for me lately. And I feel so overwhelmed, frustrated, and stressed out. The difficulties I'm facing weigh on my mind, my heart, and my shoulders, and because of that, I can't seem to get anything right or even sleep at night, and that even makes me weary and stressed out even more. God, you said we should come to you with our heavy burdens and you will give us rest. So, God, I come to you. Take my burdens and my frustrations and grant me peace. Take away this stress that I feel and restore my soul. Everything around me is crumbling, God but I hope in you. Help me to relax and surrender it all to you. Give me strength and clarity of mind and teach me to take each day at a time. Thank you, Lord, for your everlasting love. God, your servant Paul, asks us not to be anxious. This sometimes feels impossible with all that's going on in the world. Please help me to grow in faith and have absolute trust in you. Hear my prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Dearest Father in heaven, I thank you that you do not give up on calling us. Open our ears, Father, so that we can hear you amidst the noise of this world. I pray that each one will see your presence everywhere and acknowledge you. 
when talking with our families, friends, or strangers, in towns or cities, during our walk in nature or when we see your creations everywhere, when we are hurting or when everything flows smoothly in our lives, when we are sick or healthy, in difficulties and challenges, let us see how big you are, God, in comparison to our daily battles. I pray that in everything we are experiencing, we will always learn a lesson, be prudent and learn common sense. Thank you, Father, because you speak to us noble things and from your lips comes only the right words and the truth in every season of our lives. All your words are righteous and there is nothing twisted and crooked in them. Give us the insight to understand, Father. Give us knowledge. May we choose your instruction and knowledge rather than the riches of this world that are only temporary. And besides, nothing can compare with the wisdom that comes from you. With wisdom that comes from you, we will acquire all that we need in our lives. Father, I pray that we will search for knowledge and wisdom from you to dwell in your holy presence day in and day out. Let us fear you because it is the beginning of wisdom, to shun evil deeds in our lives and idolatry, to always be meek and humble, to utter words that comfort, heals, and saves. Thank you that we can find counsel and sound wisdom from you and your words will help us to defeat our enemies. Thank you for the strength to endure and to continue serving, loving, and reaching others for you, because you also sent your Son to reach and save the lost. Thank you that you love us who love you and seek you diligently. Riches and honor then will be ours, and enduring wealth and righteousness. Our fruits will be better than anything in this world. Help us, God, to walk in righteousness and the paths of justice. Thank you that you grant inheritance to us who love you. In you, there are never-ending treasures to be found. Thank you, O oh God, that you know each one of us and what we will become before we were born. Thank you for calling us from darkness into the light. Thank you for creating everything for us, the sun and the stars the universe, this beautiful world, Father, and that you also prepared a place for us with you when our time is up here on earth, in your place where everything is more colorful and beautiful. Father, I pray that each one will listen to you and keep your ways, to hear your instruction and be wise, to seek your presence daily and be guided by you. Thank you that in you there are always blessings and favors. There is life and joy. In you there is provision for every need that we have in our everyday lives. I pray this prayer, God, in Jesus' name. Amen, Father God. Thank you that you prepared a house for us, a house where all our needs can be met, body, soul, and spirit, where we can feast in the beauty of your holiness where we can marvel at the works of thy hands. I pray that we will always seek to dine in with you, to hear from you, to prioritize your presence before everything else in this world. Let us experience the joy, the peace, and your love in being with you. I pray that we will leave our simple ways and live our day-to-day -day life with the wisdom and insights that come from you. Give us the right words to say to people we encounter daily, people who are difficult and proud, the lost, the needy, those that have abundance in life, and those that are hurting and seeking. I pray that our hearts will always be filled with the desires that come from you. Let us feel how you feel. Fill our minds with pure and godly thoughts. Your thoughts, Father, in all our ways, let us acknowledge you. Instead of fearing the world, death, people, or the unknown future, let us fear you instead because it is the beginning of wisdom. To get to know you more gives us understanding and the right judgment. Thank you for the wisdom that you give to us. 
Help us, Father, to be obedient, to crucify our flesh and live in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, so that not only our days will be many, but we will live in the proximity of your boundaries. Let us not explore the territory of the enemy, but your kingdom, O God, where all our needs will be met, and we will be rewarded. Open our eyes to the truth, so that we will not be conned by evil. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, Father, our Creator and Redeemer. Thank you that although many times we experience a dead end, you open new doors for us. Thank you for all the dead ends that make our faith grow. When it seems that all our dreams turn to dust, you turn the clouds of dust into sand that we can walk over. Sometimes it feels like it is over, but it is still not as long as we are still alive. You just move us into the next phase in our lives. When things seem out of control in our lives, I thank you because you are under control. When we cannot do anything about the situation, you can. It can be sickness, divorce, bankruptcy, losses, infertility, unemployment, financial difficulties, and so on. Thank you that you can deliver us from every turmoil in our lives. Help us to remember all the things you had done in our lives and focus on you, who you are and what you can do, to claim the promises from your words. I pray that we will continue believing and put our faith in you as you can bring the dead back to life and create new things out of nothing. If you can bring life to a dead man, then you can also bring life to every dead place in our lives. Whether it is a dead dream or marriage, thank you that you can bring something new out of financial ends too, because what is impossible to us is possible to you. Luke 18.27 Father God, I thank you that you specialize in the impossible. You work miracles all the time, and you can work miracles in our lives too. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Do not be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Heavenly Father, we make a lot of mistakes in our lives because we do things that we thought were right, but they weren't. Impulsiveness or doing what we think is right leads to disaster because most of the time our feelings depend on our modes, whether what we are spending our time with or whom we are with. Decisions made that seem harmless can lead us to broken relationships and regrets. So, Father God, help us to trust you with all our hearts. I pray that we don't depend on our understanding because it has limits and does not know all. Help us to seek your will in all we do so that you can show us which path to take. I pray that we will remain humble no matter what we accomplish in life, and most of all, to fear you and turn away from evil. Lead us to pray every day. Talk to us when we read your words. Thank you for the promise that if we lack wisdom, we can ask you who gives generously to all. James 1.5 Thank you for the reminder from your words. It really shows that you want us to succeed, to make the right decisions in every area of our lives. We only need to ask. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, I declare. O oh God, that as your children, we are wise and heed your instructions. We respond to your corrections and rebukes. We guard our lips, and from the fruit of our lips, people enjoy good things and we preserve lives. We don't tell lies and speak only the truth in love. Thank you that as diligent people, we will be fully satisfied. We are people of integrity and righteousness guard us. Because you provide for us, we don't need to worry when we have plenty or lack. 
Your light shines in us brightly. The people found your wisdom through us, and they ask us for advice. Our teaching is a fountain of life, turning people from the snares of death. We have good judgment and we win favor. We are prudent and act in knowledge. Trustworthy people who bring healing wherever we are. Thank you, God, for filling us the longing for you which is sweet to the soul. We walk with wise people so we become wiser. Thank you for the rewards that await us as we obey you. We leave a good inheritance for our children's children, a godly inheritance. God, thank you that you will not close your eyes to us if ever we make a U-turn and be like the world, but will continue to call us back and make known to us that life without you is not life at all. It is spiritual death. Thank you for your unending love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, Father God. Thank you that we can call to you anytime, anywhere, and no matter what our situations are. And we don't need to be anxious either about anything because our lives are in your hands. You care for us and everything that concerns us. I thank you that we can come unto thee to utter the longings of our hearts, to intercede for others, to claim your promises, and most of all, to thank you for everything and have fellowship with you. May we be content whether we have plenty or are in need, because in plenty we can be a blessing. In short, we can see your provision. Thank you for the strength to get through all the challenges in our lives. Father God, let our main goal be to seek your kingdom and righteousness first. Then you will add everything to us. Let us commit everything to you and follow you. Thank you because you are leading us to everlasting life with you, where there is no sickness and with only tears of joy. And most of all, our sorrows and pains will disappear because we will be reunited with our loved ones that went ahead of us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, Father God. Thank you for your divine power which provides us everything we need to live a godly life. It is by having a knowledge of you who called us by your own glory and goodness. Fill our hearts then, Father, with the desire to get to know you more, your will, your plans in our lives, and to meditate on your words so that we will be able to live a godly life. And we should do so being your children. O oh, Most High God, Father, we are weak, but with you we are strong, and with the strength that you provide, we can do all things. We can follow you on unknown paths. We can be bold because it is you who will speak through us. In you we have freedom. In you we have security. By your power nothing can despair us. You promise that we don't need to fear because you will never leave us or forsake us. We don't need to worry about the future because it is in your hands. You are Almighty and the Alpha and Omega. The Great I Am erase the doubts in our hearts. Father, remind us always that the enemy is no match for you who is in us. And we don't need to be discouraged if we fail from time to time because in you there is always hope and a new beginning. Thank you for the joy in your presence, for comfort when we are lonely, for strength to overcome hardships and healing for pain spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Thank you, Jesus, for equipping us with the shield from the fiery darts of the enemy. You are with us in every aspect of life. In you, we are not the victims. We are the conquerors, and our banner is your love and peace. Amen, Father God. Thank you that you will fill every valley that we encounter. In the valley of challenges, you give us hope. In lack of faith, you remind us of what you have done in our lives. In sickness, you provide healing. In hopeless moments, you fill us with hope. In lack, you provide. In danger, 
You are our shield and protection. Nothing is too deep or too wide for you that you cannot fill in with whatever is needed. Because you are the creator of everything. Thank you that with you we can climb over a mountain of problems. You make every mountain we encounter reachable and attainable. Any crooked roads in front of us will be straightened and smoothed because you are the one who steers the wheel in our life's journey. Thank you because your word is a lamp for our feet and a light on our paths. So help us, Father, to follow your righteous laws because it leads us to your kingdom. In Jesus' name, I pray and give thanks. Amen, Father God, who sees everything, gives us a clear vision through the eyes that you had given us to see your blessings and the life's lessons behind challenges. Help us to see things that should be done and people to whom we should connect. And in addition, give us insight every time we read or hear the preaching of your word. To be obedient in good or bad times, thank you for giving us a mouth to speak, to give thanks, to pray, and to intercede. Talk through us, Father, so that we will be a channel of encouragement, healing, deliverance, and salvation. God, I thank you that we can communicate with you anytime, anywhere, and with everything. Let us feel your presence in our lives, to see your light in darkness and to find your help in hopeless situations. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and everyone's needs to be met, needs of strength, patience, hope, joy, peace and provisions, and mostly faith and power to climb over mountains of problems and go through hindrances and hardships. Thank you that whatever we lose for your kingdom's sake, it will be returned to us a hundredfold. Thank you that we can cast our cares unto Thee, and You will give us rest. Father God, I come to You in prayer today, lifting each one to You. Holy Spirit, help us to express ourselves fully to God the Father, and give us words to pray and to share in Jesus' name. Amen, God. Make us aware of the talents and gifts that You bestowed on us to be used for Your glory to find our purposes in you. Thank you for making each one unique and with a purpose. Let us see your plan in our given talents, strengths, abilities, weaknesses, skills, passions, interests, and peculiarities. Let us see the people in our network as your tools to teach us lessons to grow in our faith in you and how we can reach them for you. The lost, the needy, the unlovable, and the hurting. Thank you that no matter what happens in our lives, we can put our trust in your guidance. When we fall in love or a relationship ends, in new acquaintances, when learning new things and discovering your will in our lives. Thank you that nothing happens by accident, odds, or coincidence. Everything is carefully arranged according to your plan. O oh, Father, I pray, God, that whatever you call us to do, we will trust in your provision. Thank you that everything comes from you, every perfect gift. Let your light shine through us so that you will be glorified in our lives. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, Father God. Thank you that no matter what we are going through or going to face, we do not need to face them alone. You are with us who put our trust in you. You are in us, and you are for us. You said in your word in Philippians 2.13 that you are working for us, giving us the desire and the power to do what pleases you. Thank you that you are our source of energy. You give us the power we need to face any challenges that come along. Thank you that you are with us who have faith in you. Jesus said that he will not leave us orphans. He will come to us. And as he is with you, Father, you are in us, and we are in you too. John 14, 18. 
Thank you that we are hidden with Christ in you, sealed with the Holy Spirit. For the devil to get to us, he has to get through you, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the protection. We do not need to fear for anything then. Thank you that, because you are for us, no one can defeat us. Rom Dart 8, 31. Be always our shepherd God. Thank you for your mercy follows us all the days of our lives. Thank you for being with us, in us, and for us, every minute of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Subscribe to our channel to help us reach 2,000 subscribers. Share this video to your loved ones. Donate us. Super thanks to support us. Type. Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.